Hi, this is Dave Heichel of Heichel Layouts and Trains. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the advanced features of layout automation that are possible when you combine the DCS digital command system from MTH Electric Trains with layout automation software and hardware from Heichel Layouts and Trains. As the only licensed third-party provider of software for the DCS system, Heichel Layouts and Trains can help bring new levels of realism and sophistication to your model railroad. To demonstrate these features, we're going to follow an automated sequence on the Northwest Trunk Lines model railroad. The NWTL is too large for a single operator to demonstrate all of its capabilities when they're by themselves. So Heichel Layouts and Trains has installed an automation system that allows the owner of the NWTL to demonstrate all of the layout's major capabilities with just a single button press. Let's get started. We have located a button near the entryway to the layout, and with just a single press of that button, a whole series of events begins. Track power turns on immediately, and the ambient room lighting, which is also computer controlled, begins to run a time of day effect. A variety of hardware for home automation, for lighting control and controlling electrical outlets, is available for manufacturers such as Lutron and Philips, in the case of the NWTL, we are using a Crestron Pack 2 home automation system. Now the automatic train control begins. A set of Denver and Rio Grande F3s pulls the California Zephyr out of the station. Notice that ambient audio has also been turned on. You will hear coyotes and an eagle in the background. Note other sounds as we traverse around the lake. Meanwhile, on the opposite end of the layout, a Great Northern S2 powers up at the front of the Oriental Limited and prepares for its journey across the layout, in the opposite direction of the California Zephyr. All of the features normally operated from the DCS remote can be operated from the computer to occur at specific locations on the layout. In this scene, the whistle is blown as the train approaches a tunnel, and as the train starts up a long grade, labored smoke and chuff are engaged. The whistle is again blown automatically as the locomotive emerges from the long Kicking Horse Loop Tunnel. As the train crests the hill coming out of Kicking Horse, the engine slows to a restricted speed preparing for a station stop in the block ahead at Field, British Columbia. Simultaneous with the decrease in speed, the locomotive returns to a normal chuff. The location of each train is tracked by the computer, and as each block becomes occupied, an image of the train is displayed in the given block. As the Great Northern arrives to make a station stop, its speed is reduced by the computer from the restricted speed to a minimum speed. The minimum speed is maintained until the locomotive reaches the end of the block. Meanwhile, the Denver and Rio Grande California Zephyr pulls in from the opposing direction. Accidents are avoided by the computer, which routes the trains to available open blocks. In this case, the two trains will actually pass each other at Field, British Columbia. In addition to routing the trains according to occupancy, the movement of any locomotive can be restricted in particular blocks through a series of permissions. For instance, a locomotive requiring 072 curves can be locked out of a block that is known to have curves tighter than 072. Once the California Zephyr has completed its station stop, the single track main line ahead is reserved through to the next siding. No other train will be permitted by the computer to enter this length of single track main until the California Zephyr has safely traversed the distance to the next available siding. The Zephyr now departs at restricted speed. 
Restricted speed will be maintained until the entire length of the train has cleared the siding. This will occur about the time that the locomotive emerges from the bottom of the spiral loop tunnel. Now it is the Great Northern's turn to depart. The route ahead is highlighted in yellow. Soon the block ahead displays occupancy, changing from green to red. This occurs quickly because the locomotive was stopped near the switch separating the two blocks. Despite the quick change in occupancy, the locomotive is actually accelerating quite slowly, from a minimum speed of 3 scale miles per hour to a restricted speed of 15. Both trains continue along their way through the broad vistas of the NWTO. When appropriate, horns are sounded, bells are rung, prime movers rev up and rev down, labored and drifting chuff are engaged. The lighting cycles continue through two full 24-hour cycles. Ambient sounds adjust from daytime to nighttime. Birds transform into crickets and blue skies turn pink and violet as the sun drops beyond the horizon. Only a blue moon glow is left at midnight. All these features and many more can be part of your land. Enjoy your model railroad empire as never before with the precision control of layout automation. If you're interested in automation for your layout, please go to the automation section of heikoltrains.com. There you will find a PDF survey together with the survey answers and a copy of your track plan we can put together a hardware schedule and a fee schedule for your individual automation package. Every automation package costs a little bit different because every layout is a little bit different. Together, we can help you bring the latest in sophistication technology to your model railroad. Thanks for watching.